digital marketers, SEOers, and paid media pals, uh, and everyone else. Um, the VIX Digital team have asked me to come up with a Black Friday SEO tip, um, and I actually have a really good one for you this year. But first, I just need to tell you a story. And so once upon a time, we had an SEO client, and this SEO client was minding their own business, running their online store, and an affiliate marketing company comes along and says, hey guys, um, we will generate website visits, we'll shout about your products and hopefully increase your sales. Um, but in return, any sales that do come from our efforts, we'd like a percentage of those sales. And our client, our e-commerce client says, yeah, great, that sounds good, let's give it a go. So they went ahead. And this usually works by having an affiliate link, right? So an affiliate link is something which is created by using UTM parameters on your URL. So the UTM, UTM parameters allow you to create a unique link that you can share with someone. So if you have a unique link that you can share with someone, that person uses that link. And then once they've used that link and you go back to your sales report in your analytics tool, you'll be able to see that any sales that came from that link can be attributed to that person, right? Or that company. And then you can obviously work out, you know, what your uh, commission percentage is. So you can pay them any money that they are owed in commission. So that's in general how it works with the affiliate links. So they had one of these links um, and what they were doing with this link and what they, they got a little bit crafty. So they worked out and they did some keyword research and realized that our client name plus discount code or our client name plus promo code or uh, our client name plus discounts and promos, all these types of searches, the home page was ranking, right? So what they decided to do was put their affiliate code on loads of discount code and promo code websites. Now I'm not talking just one or two, I'm talking like hundreds. So what happened was, is very slowly, these discount and promo code websites overtook our homepage and dragged, dragged our client down the SERPs and obviously these new websites, these promo code and discount websites replace that, right? The kicker is, is that our client didn't offer promo codes or discount codes, just didn't do it, okay? So they were offering people something that didn't exist, but they were getting that traffic with their affiliate link that then would obviously drive people to the website. So if people did buy, they would get a commission percentage on that sale. So when we spotted this and we informed our client we recommended of course that they you know this is really wasn't a great practice and actually they're stealing traffic in a way from that from our client that they could get ourselves so our recommendation was obviously to part ways with that affiliate marketing company secondly we advised the client to actually start their own page of discounts and promos but essentially a promotions page where they could actually write and talk about when their audience can expect promotions and discounts and sales from them and actually whether they even took part in them at all. So it was this idea that they could actually control that and actually boost that and have a specific page on the SERP to recover those rankings lost. And this is what applies to Black Friday. So with Black Friday it's exactly the same kind of thing but if you have not got a Black Friday page on your e-commerce website, then you need one, even if you do not take part in Black Friday. Now, the reason for that is because if you do take part in Black Friday, then you can put all your products that are on offer and are on sale into that particular page, right? So you can have a dynamic feed or however you want to do it and bring all your products in that are on sale and you can sell for people, to people that are looking for those Black Friday deals. So it's a great user experience and you're likely to get some rankings for any, and do some keyword research here, but obviously your brand plus Black Friday search terms. If you don't take part in Black Friday, it's also really important to have a page like this where it doesn't have to be a Black Friday page, it could be like a promotions page or a review page, yeah, sorry, a promo code page or you know, a, a, a basically a page that explains why you don't take part in Black Friday. Because that gives you the opportunity to communicate to your audience the reasons for not taking part in Black Friday. 
Perhaps you don't take part in Black Friday, but you take part in a different type of sale. Perhaps it doesn't ally with your brand. Perhaps it just, you know, we've worked with many clients that don't align with Black Friday and, and you know, that they choose not to take part in that particular sale, right? And that particular season, seasonal sale. So it gives you the opportunity to communicate that to your customer base, to your audience. And by being honest with your audience, you're going to generate more transparency and you're going to generate more trust because you're being honest about why or why you don't take part in such a thing. And on the long run, that's going to create a much more loyal customer base and also align the people that actually want to buy from someone like that because you're communicating your values. So it's a tremendous opportunity to be able to communicate that brand ethos and to com communicate those values and be completely honest with your audience and transparent. So one of those things as well is trustworthiness, right? And we always talk about EEAT and SEO. So the T is the trustworthiness and that helps to obviously build that. So this Black Friday, if you haven't already got a Black Friday page or a promo codes page or a promotions page, then you should create one. I hope this tip's been helpful. Please give us a comment and yeah, do share your ideas on any you know, SEO tips for Black Friday. Look forward to hearing from you.